And the Orioles, one of the best teams in the American League with him. They get a full season of him now. They get a full swing from him now. It's in the right field. It's a home run. His first opening day swing. Adley Rutschman puts the Orioles on the board in the new season with a home run at Fenway Park. This one's to third. Devers. Oh, Devers booted it. Official scoring decision pending. Oh, it's a hit. Oh, it's a hit. That is a five hit opening day for Adley Rutschman. He's oh. out. No Ooh. way. A pitch clock violation. Wow, a violation. He is out at oh, home. God. That is strike three. Oh. How about that? So we see that here on opening day. I think Rafi can believe it. Typically the sinkers 91 92 the splitters like 87. Uh -oh. We've got a uh, pitch clock violation on Marcus. There you go. First one of the year. I wonder how many if you had an over and under how many will take place during the course of the season whether it's the pitcher or the hitter right you know on the Chicago Cubs how many. High fly ball to right from Peterson hit well Renfro got turned around and somehow <laughs> still made the catch. What was that. Hunter Renfro kind of a no look <laughs> catch. He went over to Kevin Mitchell but this time he used a glove instead of the bare head and he still smiled and so is Shohei. That was ridiculous. <laughs> Look at this play. Just throw the glove out just in case. <laughs> Tommy Hunter deals again to right and deep. Get up! Get up! Get out of here! Gone! The rookie Terang with his first career homer, his first career grand slam. Make an impact, young man. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming home number 22, Andrew McCutcheon. Of course. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. You just can't make this stuff up. First nine outs of the game, all by strikeout for Heaney. And he's ahead one and two. One more ties the American League record. The one two. Strike three, he got him. And Andrew Heaney has just tied an American League record for a consecutive strikeout saw a rise on that batting average leaderboard because he's been putting the ball in play and getting himself some hits as he does right here a one hop off the wall in right center. That'll be a two out double for a rise. A rise will have himself extra bases into the corner. Now this will be uh, maybe even three got to that perfect spot in the third base with a triple. In the air, deep left field, going way back, and that's gone. A home run of the opposite field for Luis Arise. What a night! His third extra base hit. Who said he's not a home run hitter? <laughs> After two changeups, he hits a fastball, and he's a single away from the first cycle, right? In the Marlins history. In Marlins history, absolutely. That's the easy one for him. Pitch clock down to one, and that is going to get down a base hit. The first cycle in Marlins franchise history. Luis Arise. 
The final piece of the puzzle. The last team in baseball without one. And Luis Arise is the guy. That is incredible. Broken bat. Get through, baby. It will. Walker is aboard. 12 in a row. And you got to go back to 1912 for a rookie to do what Jordan Walker just did. The streak is alive and well. Catches it just off the end of the bat. It's a slider from Seabold. It just sneaks through. There's a fly ball. Center field. Margot's got it. And the Rays have won 13 straight to begin the new season. They have matched the 87 Milwaukee Brewers and the 82 Atlanta Braves. Since 1900, the only three teams to open the season with a record of 13 at all. And the Rays win this one 9-3. to three. So much accomplished already in his Major League career, his Hall of Fame career. And tonight, he has a chance to earn his 200th Major League win. Uncle Charlie. <laughs> Clayton Kershaw with his ninth of the night. And a roar to end his evening. The umpires did another check of Max Scherzer, and after a heated discussion, Scherzer has been ejected from the game, presumably for having a spit sticky substance on his hand. The crew chief, Dan Bellino, did the ejecting, and now Buck Showalter in conversation with Bellino as Scherzer has been ejected from the game. So he had his glove switched earlier, and they're looking at the second glove, and they were looking at his pitching hand as well. Well, what, what Cuzzy is was telling, and Bellino got involved, is that even though it's a new glove, it feels like the old glove. Or, or did Max go back to the old glove um, and try to take whatever substance was on it or on his hand off the glove? High fly ball, deep center, going back, Judd, still back on the track at the wall. He leaps, and he makes the play. He took away a home run and made the play. Well, Michael, you can't make this up. This is star power right here. Otani goes dead center field. Aaron Judd says, nope. I get all six, seven to me up. Oh. Defensively in the seventh. Little dribbler, third base side, tough play. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Come on. That can't be how it ends. Wow. Got to be a hit. And that is just so unfortunate. Oh. Well, I mean, right in the sense of urgency, both guys want the ball, want to make the play so badly. Oh. Drew Smiley, that's all he can do. Yeah. Swing and a miss. Smiley able to get Outman. There's two away. Here comes David Ross and listen to this place as he hands the ball over to Drew Smiley. What an effort for the left hander from Arkansas. Drew Smiley almost. There's a swing and a ladder to right field. That one's well struck and that ball is gone. It's a home run. He hit it out back to back go the Red Sox. And the Red Sox are on top, five to four. Masa Yoshida with home run number two. And the 0-2. Swing and a high fly ball. That one's deep, way back, and it is gone! Into the second level. A grand slam. The Red Sox blow it wide open. Yoshida right in the thick of it as he touches home plate. A grand slam here in Milwaukee. What an inning for him. You see him crossing home play going. Wow! Wow, that's right, Massa. Slow start to the season for him. Langoliers, it's a high fly, pretty deep to left. Ward is all the way back at the wall. He made the catch! Taylor Ward! He robbed a grand slam! Right on him against that short wall in left field. Taylor Ward brought it back. This will be a tough day for Graham Ashcraft to pitch emotionally. On Monday, his grandmother passed away in Texas, one month shy of her 83rd birthday. 
Teresa Ann Ashcraft was a big Rangers fan in Fort Worth, Texas, but converted to a Reds fan after Graham was drafted by the Reds. Graham decided to stay and pitch today and then fly out to be with his family after the game because that's what Grandma would have wanted him to do. Three pitch K. Pitch Miller, weak tapper, back to the mound. Ashcraft has it, and he will run and tag out Miller on his way to the bag for the final out. So he does just that. Graham Ashcraft gets through six. Allows just the two runs, and we head to the bottom of the sixth inning. Moments ago, these emotional embraces for Graham Ashcraft. Pitching with a heavy heart. I'm assuming he's done. And let it all out, big fella. Let it all out. And the special bond with his pitching coach, Derek Johnson. Two and two. Berger in the air, right field side toward the line. It goes there. Rolling into foul ground. Berger has got a hit. The Sox have a run. It's a double for Jake. And now the tying run will come to the plate. In the air left field. Randy Arozarena makes the grab. Rondal tags. He comes home. It is nine to seven on the sack fly from Colas. Elvis right field. Base hit. The Sox are still alive. Berger scores. It is nine to eight suddenly. And for Elvis, his third hit of the day and third in his last three at bats. Line over second into center. This game keeps on going. We're tied at nine. Somehow, some way. Swing and a drive. Streak is over. Outrageous way to end it. What a ball game this turned out to be, and Andrew Vaughn with a towering drive wins it. 12 to 9. Cedric Mullins sizzles one into right field off of a fastball. Thrown hard and hit harder. The base hit for his set tonight. Mullins, right center field. That ball's up the alley. That ball is going to be extra bases. Maybe three. Cedric loses the helmet. He's going to go to third. And he's in there. Let's get wet. Here we go. Mullins, right field, base hit, extra base hit coming. He's already got one triple in the game, and this time, He'll hold at second with a double, and Cedric will start the sprinkler in the dugout and in the bird bat. Oh, in the right field. Mullins, did he do it? Yes. Yes. Yes, he did. It's a tsunami. Cedric Mullins completes the cycle and sends Camden Yards into water world. <laughs> Look at him out there in that section, would you? Cedric Mullins. All right, Buck, so you and I looked at each other at the same moment right when we saw this yeah. three pitches ago. Watch what he's looking at. Yeah. What is that? Where is he looking? Where is he looking? And he did in it more than out. once. Yeah. yeah. It was really, really unusual. But you and I both looked at each other when yeah. we saw that. Like, did you see what I saw? Yeah. He hit it a country mile for his second home run of the night. Third time this season that Aaron Judge has hit two homers in a game. And once again, he's looking at something. High fly ball, center field. Kiermaier looks. See ya. Another one over the batter's eye. A monster shot by Judge. And boy, did the Yankees need run home run in a 5-3 Yankee lead. I think it might have done it to the restaurant area. I'm not sure. That had to feel good for him. My gosh. That was a, just a monster blast. Oh there you go. Well he broke the maple leaf. Well they have just thrown Domingo Herman out of the game. They checked his hand all four umpires now talking with Aaron Boone and Herman who's been perfect through three was just thrown out of the game for obviously something on his hand that they did not think was uh, was allowable. When he was coming out of the dugout he was stopped by an umpire to check going into the game. Usually it's going out of the game and they checked. All four umpires came and checked. 
And he gets this one in the air to center field, but Siri should have room on the warning track at the wall, and it's out of here! Mark Vientos with the carry! Two-run homer to tie the game! That thing just kept going! Second Major League home run. He hits one in his first big league game of the season and gives the Mets the spark they need. This game is tied at two. And he drives one, deep left field. That goes really, that ball's out of here! And the game is tied! Off the facing of the second deck, Francisco Alvarez brings the Mets back from the brink with a three-run homer in the bottom of the ninth to tie the game at five. The rookies have stepped front and center. Vientos a two-run homer in the seventh, Alvarez a three-run homer in the ninth to get the Mets even. Alonzo drives one, deep left field, really going back, it's out of here, and the Mets win it! Into the second deck, Alonzo a three-run shot, and the Mets walk it off for the first time this year. One to grow on for the New York Mets. The two youngsters kept the minute, and the best home run hitter in baseball wins it in the bottom of the 10th with a three-run blast into the second deck. And the Mets win the game 8-7 to seven in 10. Wow. So many good things happen in this ball game. And Pete up to the task. I mean a bomb. Wow, what a game. Mets have been waiting all year for a night like tonight. The bases are loaded for Alonzo. Terry Francona is going to make a pitching change and bring in Karinczak to face Alonzo. And Pete flies one to right field. Back goes Brennan to the warning track at the wall. He's homered in four straight games for the second time in his career. Just 25 years old. That's up the middle. Vientos has a base hit. That'll bring in Beatty to cut the Guardians' lead to one run. It's now 9-8. to eight. And The tying run is on first. 0-2 from Class A. And a ground ball toward the home base hit! chance to be the hero against his old team. Nimmo runs in a slide, base hit, and the Mets win it! Lindor against Cleveland gets the winning hit, and the Mets win 10 to 9! Oh, wow! Down 5 to nothing to begin this game. Alonzo with the grand slam to tie it. Down two runs in the 10th for the second time in three days. And again, they come back to win. And it's Lindor in his first ever game against Cleveland who comes through with the game winning hit. The 3 2 pitch. Ground ball to third. Harrison's got it. Bobbles for a moment. Fires across the diamond in time. It's save number 400 for Craig Kimbrell. And it comes in the city where he had made his mark originally. And this is during the half inning break. Liam Hendricks walking out to the bullpen. And his wife Christy in eager anticipation of this moment and then the next moment when he does walk out of that bullpen for a long, long time. Well, you'd love to see it be a safe situation, but you'd love to see Liam in the game in any situation tonight. One drink of water, two drinks of water, and one ball of emotion. A healthy one at that coming out. Christie has been through so much. Yes. This moment is so much for her as it is for him. Well, I love the fact that Thais is not getting in the batter's box. He is standing off to the side, allowing Liam to get all the accolades he richly deserves. 
On the ground, up the middle, Tim's got it, and Liam Hendricks is through his first inning of baseball as a cancer survivor. Torkelson well off the line at first, and Tim takes the ball away. It slightly gets away. Nobody can find it, and the mystery ball is a Sox win. Corey Blazer is down because it got him. Well, let's see. The Sox win for now, 2-1 the final. And that should be that, right? Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's the end of the ball game. On a pitch thrown to the catcher that wasn't handled. It hit him right square in the mask. Somehow Haas missed it. Unless he was totally crossed up, and I don't think he was because he was going up to get it. It hits Corey Blazer right on the mask and ends the ball game. Crack down the line. Back to the corner goes Judge. It is caught by Aaron Judge. Wow. It is so much more than just the home runs. He is Superman. I think Aaron Boone's going out to check the door. Actually, he's going out to check his right fielder because that was an incredible full speed into the fence. Thankfully, it gave a little bit. This is a big human being catching the ball and just blowing up the bullpen fence. Enjoy that here in Pittsburgh. Man, it's hard to even speak right now. <laughs> what a beautiful thing. What a wonderful achievement for Andrew McCutcheon. 2,000 career hits, and to do that in a pirate uniform. Had that home run yesterday. This ball high, deep right field. Take a good look. You will see it for long. Well, if you're going to hit a walk-off, make it an emphatic one. What a win for the Rockies. It's this one well, left center field, pretty deep. This one's going to go a long way. The game is tied. Shohei 
Otani covered it all right. It's his 19th home run, and it's 5-5 in the seventh. Exit velocity of 114.1, 459, and he set him up perfectly on that one. And Otani with the drive, left field, hit well. This ball is deep, Jankowski's back, and it's gone! Shohei has given the Angels the lead! A two-run opposite field homer. He starts the 12th with home run number 20. Best player in the world right now. Not even close, Shohei Otani. That ball's hit well out to right center field. Going back is Paven Smith, back to the wall. He is out of room, it's gone. A solo home run for JT, it breaks an 0 for 10, and the Phillies tie it up at one. Well, T-Mac, he got his timing down on that pitch. It was a fastball up and away on him. He may have. Ooh. That one's lined out to left center field. Well hit. And it's going to be off the 413 side. It's in play. Two runs will score. JT's on his way to third. And he'll be held there. It's a two-run triple. His fourth of the year. And the Phillies lead it 3-1. to one. And a liner out to left center field. That'll be in for a base hit. Well, he's three quarters of the way of the cycle. All he needs now is a double. That one's out toward left center field. Going back on it is Carroll. It's over his head, and it's off the top of the wall. JT will pull into second base. He's got a cycle. It's the first one for the Phillies since 2004. And for JT Real Muto, it's his first as well. A little history here in the desert for the Phils. Drew Smith just came out of the bullpen to start the seventh inning. He was stopped and inspected for stickiness. All four umpires looked at his hand, and Bill Miller, the crew chief, has just ejected Drew Smith from the game for having too much stickiness. Second time it's happened to the Mets this year. Happened to Max Scherzer earlier this season. And now it has befallen Drew Smith before he can throw a pitch in this game. Doing that multiple times. That is a fair ball. It's in the corner. Peterson to third. He's going to be weighed home. And he will score. Tie game. That's off the glove. And the A's will take the lead. Just enough from Carlos Perez. Brings home Laureano. And it's 2-1 Oakland. And you put it in play. Good things can happen. Brady's forced to lay out here just trying to knock this ball down. They got the infield in. They do not want to give Oakland A's this extra run here. Swing and a miss. He got him. And the A's have won seven in a row. Celebration on the field. Celebration on the speakers. And the A's have won back-to-back -back games against Tampa Bay. Longest winning streak since August of 21. Well, it's seven in a row behind an absolute deal fest. Down the third base line. Well, here he comes. Steal of home, and he will do it. Isaiah kind of Falefa ran around the bases, and the Yankees got a 3 1 lead. Brooks Raley never gave him a look. The next offering, swing and a drive, hit pretty deep right field. Sanchez going back at the wall. He leaps, he made the catch! He made the catch! He just robbed Suarez of a grand slam here in the bottom of the ninth inning. An unbelievable game. Save and grab by Jesus Sanchez in right field. Oh my goodness, he did it! He did it! He robbed him of a grand slam! A new career high in strikeouts for 36-year-old Lance Lynn. Swing and a miss, and he ties the franchise record in strikeouts. 16 on this Sunday in Seattle, Lance Lynn. Not just contact, but solid contact down the line and gone. Another no-doubter, and Buxton has his 12. Well, jumped off his bat. The only question was, is it going to stay fair? I was headed up there for that third deck. Here's another blast. Left center field. He really tagged this one. Wow. 
into the second deck over the bullpen. He may have outdone his first inning home run with that one. Well, the first one was 466. This one was 465. Oh, come on. <laughs> Hit streak. That is blitzed to right center field. Off the top of the wall. De La Cruz storms up to second base. He nearly had a home run by inches. Pitch. First pitch in the air to right. Acuna back at the wall. Gone! De La Cruz does it again. Home run number three on the year. His second of the homestand. And his two-run shot has the Reds back within one. One, two. Broke his bat. That's in the center. Base hit. Windmill on McCray. Harrison center lobbed a second. McCray slides home safely. India over to third. De La Cruz. He is a triple shy. Three for three. And the Reds within one. De La Cruz right center. Down base hit. Could he go three? India around third. India scores. It's a cycle. across and it's eight to seven Dodgers he called a buck on Stanek and Stanek is arguing let's see here waiting to see if Stanek comes set he stepped off the rubber and that's when Gonzalez called him for the block I don't know I think Junior Valentine oh, called perhaps the block. I think you're right it's the second base umpire that called it Payoff again to Bush, and this time he strikes out a frustrated Stanek. Looks back and gets ejected by the second base umpire, Junior Valentine, after arguing that block, which brought the go-ahead run home. Valentine is having none of it. Joshua Miller comes out to grab Stanek. Manny Gonzalez, the crew chief, has to step in front of Stanek. And that's going to do it in what was a wild eighth inning in an already wild Saturday on Chavez Ravine. And ball four. There's a line drive base set to left for JT. Well, that'll feel good. Ball four. That'll load him up. Ground ball toward third. Gobbled up by Beatty. He held on to it, and it's off the glove of McNeil. A run scores. And ball four. That'll force in another run. It's a 6-5 game. It got him. That's going to force in the tying run. The 2-2 pitch. It hit him. And that'll force in the go-ahead run. How about this inning? This is at second base. Freddie Freeman hits this one to right. Fairly deep, and it's over the head of Tucker. Freddie Freeman to second, bet scores, and welcome to the 2000 hit club, Freddie Freeman. That ball will be kept forever. And Freeman able to do it in front of the home crowd with the second hit tonight and 2000th of his career as he tips his cap to the Dodger fans. Ball's carrying out to left. Look at this ball carry. Oh! Look at Josh Palacios! Do it, Josh! Grounded to third. Donaldson has it. There it is! Perfection for Domingo Herman! Domingo Herman has thrown the 24th perfect game in baseball history. The fourth perfect game in Yankees history. And you will always remember where you were June 28th of 2023. Ramirez inching down the line. He's going to try to steal home. And he's out. Ramirez says challenge the play. This will be a crew chief review. The yeah, they've got to ask to have it looked at. He oh, missed he him. It, she sure did.
It looked like he oh got in there. Oh my goodness, what a slide by Jose Ramirez. Looks like the fingers got to the corner of the plate before he tagged his forearm. After review, the call on the field is overturned. Runner's safe. McCutcheon in the deep center. That's down for a base hit off the wall. Bay rounds third. He scores, and the Pirates are within one. Santana cranks one. Deep right. It is gone. A blast into the Allegheny, and the Pirates come back to win it. Wow. Carlos Santana's 37 years old. It just spun around a fastball like it was nothing. First. The Braves, I think, have six homers today. Yes, they do. Ronald Acuna joins the party. You thought the home run derby was going to be in Seattle in July, but you were wrong. It's a truest park on June 30th. Shohei Otani leads off the bottom of the sixth inning against Tommy Henry, who has been outstanding for the Diamondbacks tonight. Oh. There's a drive. Shohei Otani gets the Angels on the board with his 30th home run. An absolute rocket. He is truly fun to watch. He is turning to the best power threat in baseball. Right? This ball went 493 feet. You'll want. Hat will get a chance at Miller. Here's the throw to the plate. Ball game! Oh, baby! <laughs> wow! Oh, my And the goodness. Cubs win it. What a job by the Gold Glover. Ian Happ throws out not one, but two in extra innings. And the Cubs win it 7 6. That is the game of the year right there. My goodness, you've got to be kidding me. And the runner goes from second to third on a tapper back to the mound, and it's overthrown. One run's going to score, and here comes the game winner. How do you like that? It's a Marlins walk off win. Soak it in and enjoy every moment. Sometimes they're not pretty. And how about this? With the runners going, Wendell making contact, put all of that in motion. Wow. Now going to be. He's going to have his bat looked at. A bat check of De La Cruz on the knob end. Does he have some kind of device augmenting attached there that he's not allowed to have? It's probably a jet pack. <laughs> That's just to keep him on the ground so he doesn't go into the atmosphere. <laughs> Quinn Walcott is on the plate. And we believe it's the same knob that he's used the entirety of his time in the big leagues. You know what De La Cruz ought to do? He ought to go ahead and take it off the bat, sign it, and give it to David Martinez. <laughs> Home runs on the year. The average major league team has 100. De La Cruz trying to add to it. He crushes. Upper deck right center. Take that 94. A De La Cruz missile. He sizzled it into the second deck. A 5-1 Reds lead. Ooh, baby. How about that breaking ball right there? First pitch right out to end the Quick inning. And Easy work. Here we go, gang. <laughs> history. Guys, we have just witnessed history down here at downtown Detroit at Comerica Park. A combined hitter for the Detroit Tigers. Leela Cruz goes. Pitch called a strike. Throw down on a skip late. Another steal for Ellie De La Cruz.
Takes off again. Pitch down and in. Nobody Fame here. throw. There's no chance. Well, Two steals. Taylor Cruz had already looked a couple of times at Brian Anderson, knowing that if he got a jump, he's going to hold the throw. Miguel turned his back on the plate, and as he did, Dana Cruz took one little throw hop towards the plate, and then he let it rip. Darno high and deep to left. There's your franchise record. The Atlanta Braves have homered in 26 straight games, and it's now 4-2. He just blasted 21. The switch hitter turns around. Start showing off. His first one goes. Start showing off. Que clase de lucio. Adley Rutschman knew something, boys. He should get double points for this. Is he six for six? Oh, oh my, my goodness! goodness. <laughs> that one did Adley not go. Adley Rutschman. Did he go seven of eight in that final round? Yes, he did. He may not even need his bonus. <laughs> Say goodbye to Adley Rutschman. There it is. And there it is. And he knows it. And there's that look he gave last home run before the break. Kind of a pause. Enjoy the moment, Luis Robert. There'll be many more. Watch Pena. No step to throw BP. Oh. It's a short arm right to the point. Up and in. Boom. Oh, boy, are they in sync. Another it one. It is money. He's yeah. already at 36, Carl. It's coming real easy. Watch the mitt. That's right two where in a row he that he wants missed. it. Yeah, that's a souvenir. That's a souvenir. Guys, what a show! Watch the bottom half. He's not tired at all. 106 point, 106 miles per hour, 24 launch angle with 10 seconds left. Got out of his swing on that one. Got about one more after this. Got to do it quick, and he won't do it. He'll stop at 41. <laughs> when he asked him, Vlad said, of course he said yes. They were the combination in 19 when Vlad finished just shy, losing in the finals. And Remember, two minutes in the final round, just two, not three. Two minutes, you still get that timeout. But right now, those pitches from Snyder are middle away. Needs to bring him in just a bit. That one's going to leave the yard in a hurry. So is that one. Yeah, that's a little higher and a little further. You really probably need the bonus here. And that's where Vlad's got a little bit of an advantage. That one is headed up to that second deck. There goes another one. Oh, he's getting there, Carl. Yeah, it looks like he's going to get there. There goes another one. Hands are starting to be raised. Not quite yet. Not Line yet. drive. That may stay up. Oh. Popped it up. Got to have one. I don't think he did it. He did not do it. Oh, my. Vlad Guerrero <laughs> Jr. will hang on and win the 2023 T-Mobile Home Run Derby. I think they went a little too quick, and it took away from oh. Rosarena's consistency. Randy Rosarena comes up just short. Congratulations to Vlad. He and his dad, both home run derby champions. 80, 40 home runs, 80 stolen bases. Here's an opposite field fly ball deep to the track, and a leaping grab made by Garcia. Highlight play to be
begin the All-Star game. Cole's 1-2 to Freeman is popped down the left field line towards the corner. Rosa ran into the wall. He makes the catch. What a way to begin the Midsummer Classic. Oh, one great catch in right, one great catch in left. A Rosarena doesn't waste any time. I really don't care where a Rosarena would play. He's the ball's going to find him, and he's going to do something special every single time. Not going. Two two to Diaz is hit in the air to deep left field. Back it goes. Elias Diaz puts the National League in front at 32 years old in his All-Star debut. A go-ahead home run. Forget your first All Star game. You are never going to forget your first potential game winning homer. Two on, two out, and a 2 2 pitch. Ramirez swings and misses. Kimbrel slams the door. The National League's finally back on top. Its first All Star game win since 2012. What a finish! It was a finish, and uh, that man right there is pretty happy, and you can understand why. Guardians feel like they have to do. Uh -oh. There's a ball hammered. Deep right field. Garcia will wave goodbye. Deep into the lower deck in right field for Bo Naylor. His second major league home run, and what a prodigious blast it was. 2-0 Guardians. There's a ball driven a deep right field down the line. It is gone. A home run. Josh Naylor with a two out, two iron right down the line in right field. The second two run Naylor homer of the inning. And it's 4 0 Guardians. Maton and Thice with Moniak at second the time run. First pitch, right center field. And the dive. Oh! What a play by Kyle Tucker to end the game. That guy is a superstar, right? <laughs> Unbelievable play right there. We saw him steal a home run. We saw him hit. The home run in the top of the ninth and a game-saving catch. And now Perdomo sends it to right center, and that'll get to the wall. McCarthy scores, Thomas right behind. Geraldo Perdomo makes it 15 to 13. Nice pitch down, elevates it up in the air to right center field. Nice piece of hitting right there to get that ball into the right center to get that double and bring in those two RBIs. Bouncing ball the other way, backhanded by Riley. Tough play and Sal Freelich. You've got your first major league hit in your debut. One, two. On the ground, hugging the line, a fair ball for Freelich. Everything's coming up for Salvatore. A few more assignments away. Ozuna goes the other way. Well struck ball. Freelich back to the track at the wall, leaps and makes the catch. What a play. Welcome to the Bigs on the defensive end for Freelich. Here's Arcia, former Brewer goes to right center field. Long run for Perkins and for Freelich. Freelich does it again! A jaw-dropping debut on defense for the Freelich family. Goes the other way and smacks another base hit. Getting the way from third is Winker, and Sal Freelich has tied this game. 1-0. In the right field. It is caught by Acuna. Off from third, Adamas. Here comes the play at the plate. Brewers take the lead. Freelich delivers. It's 4-3 Milwaukee. Shallow right center, long run, but Michael gets there. Throw it back to first, may have a play. Double the ball for maybe a triple play. It is unbelievable. Just how they drew it up. We have seen it all tonight. Michael started it. It's an 8-3-5 triple play. The 1-1 pitch. Pulled the left. That's another base hit. Altman's in to score. Three consecutive singles to open the ninth inning. It's a 7-4 game with the tight ends coming up.
Muncy. Watches ball four. It's a bases loaded walk. It's a 7-5 game, and the tying run is in scoring position. And now Taylor. Pokes one. Right side. Off the arrow. Everybody's safe. Here comes the tying run. 7-7. Everybody's safe again. Into right field. That's down a base hit. Betts picks it up on a bounce. Here comes his throw home. Smith dives. And got him. Kiermaier's out at home. Mookie Betts guns him down. High fly ball. Deep center field. Kiermaier's back. It's got the top of the wall. It doesn't matter whether it's a home run or not. It's ball game. Game 100. A thrilling win in 10. Astros defense in the outfield. They all, all just took about six or seven steps to the left. There we go. Deep to left. It's gone. A grand slam for El Bombe. The great Bombino trying to step on the neck of these Astros in the fifth inning. Garcia goes over it now. Bench is clearing here as there are some words between Garcia and Martin Maldonado as if Maldonado did not like the way that Garcia watched that home run or how much time he took. And that's just too bad. With the way things have gone here tonight, go ahead and enjoy every moment of that if you're Adolis Garcia. Well, Maldonado, you remember, he, he had words with Marcus Simeon when Simeon had crossed the plate. This would be the first complete game shutout, and there it is. Shohei Otani goes all nine. And there it is, the chance to shake Chad Wallach's hand. First career complete game shutout for the Unicorn. There were some, uh, some clapping for Shohei, who goes to the opposite field. Get going, yeah! His major league leading 37th. Oh. oh, he got another one. Get going. Otani has done it again. Santa Maria. Complete game shutout. Check. Two homers in the nightcap. Check. But he grabbed his side or back after the swing. That was a rocket out. And Ian Happ. Oh, on the big backswing. Hap got Contreras in the helmet. The mask knocked away. Wonder if he got cut. Yeah, it certainly looks like, man, that is so scary with the backswing. Contreras will head off. Let's see if the Cardinals will be allowed to stitch him up and get him back in the game. I would assume that would be the case. Three balls and a strike. And another message sent. Buzzed the tower once, got him flushed the second time, and now let's see if the umpires issue warnings after uh -huh. Hap knocked Contreras from the game. Well, you, you see that Hap knew exactly what was going on, too. Didn't say a word, took his bag, caught him right in the hip. If you're going to get him, that's exactly where you get him. Did the job the right way. They throw him out? Wow, they Come just on. throw Michael is out of the game. you got to be kidding me. Have a little feel for baseball. Have a little feel for the game. That's awful. So Miles Michaelis gets thrown out of the game. Well, he's going at it right now with the ball, with the uh, dugout at the Cubs. They're waving him into the Cardinals dugout. And now things get even more dicey for the Cardinals. Jack Flaherty's hot as the Cardinals lose Contreras because Hap couldn't control the backswing. Michaelis hits Hap and gets thrown out of the game without any warning whatsoever. There is no punishment whatsoever for Ian Happ, who hits Contreras with a bad swing. Payoff hey, pitch. Hot drive. Deep left. Grand slam. Bobby Witt Jr. wins it. Sensational. To have your first Major League walk off a slam, are you kidding? It's only fitting for Junior. Adbert fires. In the air, center field. Tuckman back. Back some more near the wall. And he caught it!
What a goal! Oh, yes, he did. Oh, Holy goodness. goodness. He saved the game. Mike Tuckman with a game saving grab over the wall, and the Cubs win. <laughs> The Cup players Holy cow. are pouring onto the field as if they just won the pennant. That is spectacular. Strike three call. Well, the Marvel Vargas called out on strikes. Five Ks for Verlander. Buck Showalter's on his way to the mound with Verlander up to 103 pitches. Looks like his day is done. And the next 48 hours or so will tell whether Verlander has thrown his last pitch as a Met. Flushing faithful appreciative of what they've seen from the future Hall of Famer who's in line for his 250th career win today. The 0-2. Out to left center field. Hayes racing after it. Oh! It's a bird, it's a plane, it's Austin Hayes. Looper, Pena, no hitter for Flumber Valdez. The first lefty in franchise history to throw a no hitter. Here we go, the pitch. High fly ball, deep right field. Going back, going back, and goodbye! A grand slam by Kate Marlowe. And the Mariners have a 5-3 lead here tonight. They're bidding for the third comeback victory in the last few days. And how about Kate Marlowe's first career grand slam? Now batting for the Phillies. Number seven, shortstop, Trey. Just about everybody here is standing. Trey Turner nodding. Almost looks like he's uh, nodding his head to the music, but uh, I think uh, acknowledging the reaction. So I asked Davis, what will you be thinking about as you walk to the plate? And he said, get a hit. And then he <laughs> said, actually, just make good content. And he gets one in the air to left. And back at the wall is Duran, and it's gone! Davis Schneider homers in his first big league at bat. 28th round pick, first major league at bat, hits one over the monster. Unbelievable moment for this guy. That is the first and second, Turner. Yes. And a high fly ball to deep left field. He answered their call. It's gone! A three-run home run for Trey. And the Phillies have just taken the lead. It's an 8-6 ball game. And this place is jumping for joy. 11th home run of the year for Turner. Son of a gun, I love this place. Give them what they want, Trey. You get chills just oh, thinking man. about it. Hard hit ground ball. Fair down the first base line. Jimenez will score. Jose on his way to second. The throw by Colas, not in time. Jose right between the legs of Tim Anderson. He's in there safely. And another hustle double. Right over the bag at first. Now Jose and Anderson square off. They're fighting. They're swinging. Down goes Anderson. Down goes Anderson. Cooler heads prevail and pull the two combatants apart quickly. But Tim Anderson, Pedro Grafal is screaming at somebody and Mike Sarbaugh is right there in his face and here we go again tell you what these guys have really lost control the umpires have not been able to calm this down one bit just when they think they've got it under control about three skirmishes break out So we know Tito's been ejected. There's enough somebody else. And there goes yeah, Jose. Jose, uh, yeah. And a re 
Urias is he didn't go. Urias put his head down. He thought he had struck out. The Royals are all headed to the third base dugout and Matt Potrero can't believe it. Call was made by first base umpire Vic Carapaza. That's a huge part of the game right there. Let's take a look at this. Oh man. The 1 0. Swing and a drive. Suck down the line. And that ball's gone. And the Red Sox win the game. Pablo, Pablo. How about a walk off granny? Well, the Red Sox with their fifth walk off. The season. Pablo Reyes, the man, and this one a single, a double, and then the home run to end it down the left field line. Strike three, Volpe down looking. He does not like that call. Well, it's the fact that the catcher set up in and had to reach away and still got the call, but it's in the box. 95 mile an hour cutter. The Yankees have had enough. No, I'm sure that boot's been thrown out. And Diaz giving it as good as he's getting it, but Boone getting his money's worth. And he's showing the pitch that is being caught. And then he's mimicking Laz Diaz. Four Yankees have been called out on strikes tonight. This is much more about than just Volpe's last pitch. This is the culmination, as you said, Michael. Tucker sends one to right field. Back goes Santan there. All the way back and gone. He did it. He did it. A grand slam in the ninth. What an event by Kyle Tucker. Kate Tuck is now invading by sea. Wow. One of the bats of the year in the major leagues. Claiming his territory in the Northeast. Winter is here. Stunner for this crowd. Wow. One more pitch, he's saying. One more pitch. One more pitch. The 3 2 pitch. Swung on, popped up. Shallow center field. Rojas sprinting in. He's under it. He has space. Makes the catch. And Michael Lorenzen has thrown the 14th no hitter in Philadelphia Phillies history. He is being mobbed by his teammates as the Phillies shut out the Nationals 7 0. 124 pitches, 15 fly ball outs, and a masterful celebration. Was a full beard. Santan there with a 2 2 count. There is a strikeout. Kendall Graveman, a shutout ninth. Astros have won the first two games of this three game series against the team with the best record in the American League, and they gain a game in the AL West now, two games behind the Texas Rangers. Fist bumps all around as Dusty moves to number seven all time. And managerial wins by himself. Singleton hits one high, hits one deep. Fair ball to three run bomb, it is. John Singleton hits his first big league home run in 2,935 days. And the Astros lead this game three to one. Number one on the season for the tank, John Singleton. Holy oh, he, did, he might have done it again. If this stays fair, it's a five RBI game. It is. Did they go over ultra? That, that is very close to where he put that first ball, a three-run home run, followed by a two-run home run. Hello. John Singleton returned to Minute Maid Park for the first time in over eight years, and he's having a career day. Garrett with a base hit to left. They're going to hold the second runner. The Nats have the line moving. It's seven to three. And that ball is well hit out to center. Going back is Butler. Two runners to move up and now it's seven to four. Home is Manessis. Alice call off the shortstop. The tying run scores. The winning run to third. It is seven up in D.C.
Here it comes. Ground ball knocked down by Holmes. Throws to first and he throws it wide. Two runs will score on a tapper back to the mound. Fair ball down the line. That'll score one. Bell on his way to third and here he comes. No throw. Two RBI triple. The Marlins tie it up. All those New York fans on bright line headed to Boca. They wanted the brakes put on. 2-1. That is going to do it. Jake Berger is the hero. The Marlins come all the way back. 8-7. It's a Marlins win. Stand up and applaud. Enjoy every second. That's one of the best wins I've seen here in a long time. Norfolk win over the Jacksonville Jumbo Shrimp. France into center field. Hit well. Hit deep. Mullins. He, he got cannot it. cannot be serious. Oh, my gosh. He cannot have just done that. Oh. He cannot have just done that. That ball was over the fence. The Are play of a lifetime. Are you kidding me? And Mullins drives this one Get into up. right field. That's a fair Get ball. Up. That is deep. That is oh out of here. Cedric Mullins oh robs gosh. a home run. Cedric Mullins hits a home run. And the kidding me? Cedric had, this is probably the greatest two half innings I've ever seen a player have. He brings a home run back, hits one foul, and then comes back and hits a two-run homer to give the Orioles a two-run lead. Pitch to Raley. Swing and a drive to deep right field off the bat of Raley. Way back toward the wall and off the wall. Hits off the sidewall. Ricochets from Meckler and goes all the way out towards center. Raley headed around third. Meckler finally picks up the ball and too late. It's a stand-up inside the park homer for Luke Rayleigh. A ball that hit very much off the top of the wall, off the brick in right center. Luke Rayleigh with an inside the park pinch hit home run. Can't get pitch. In the air, right field. That one back, gone. Walk it off. And Morrell is the hero here tonight as he sprints around the bases. Christopher Morrell. What does jubilation look like? Well, he's not wearing a shirt. Say that much. <laughs> Opportunity for more. Tatis hit third, two outs. Here comes Fernando. He's going to steal home. Fernando Tatis Jr. just walked in. Wow. 5-2. Don't take your eye off him. He may steal home. Just completely takes advantage of Perez. Lost in the sauce. First and third, nobody out. The next one, two pitch home, another fastball hit on the ground to shortstop. Ren Hefo to Drew, and they get the double play. Here comes Diaz trying to score. He's out at the plate. Wow! A triple play. <laughs> hey, wow. You talk about that aggressive base running. Unbelievable. What else tonight? But Ren Hefo did a great job to make sure he freezes them. Then he flips it over Drew. He's making sure they're not going home. And then Sean Noel did an incredible job. That one's hit well, deep to left field, out of line, it is gone! And the Phillies take the lead here in the top of the eighth inning. They got him on, and they got him across home plate. His 13th homer of the year. It's a 4-3 game. That one's hit well, out to left field. Garrett's going back, he has two in one inning. Trey Turner, two solo home runs here in the eighth. And the Phillies just keep on adding on. It's 11 to 3. Trey, did you have a good game today? Never had one hell of an eighth inning. Down the line and left. The net ball is fair. There it is. Hit number 2,000 in Altuve's career. And he is going to be out at second base. Altuve hits one fair down the line and left and thrown out. Tuve 2K. Results in a single and an out at second base. Jose now has out 2,000 hits. Congratulations, Jose Altuve. The third Astro to reach 2,000 hits in his career. Got her Henderson first pitch swinging. That's a fair ball down the left field line in the corner. Mountcastle gets a stop sign at third. 
And the Orioles are hitting one rocket after another against J.P. Sears. Mm -hmm. Henderson gets under one into right field hit pretty well Rooker's at the wall and Rooker cannot get it it's off the top of the wall it's in play Gunner's going to go to third base and he will stop right there Gunner Henderson down the right field line and it's off the top of the pole ding dong it's another Orioles home run off the pole boy and Henderson now a double a triple a homer only a single away from the cycle right side that's a fair ball inside the line and you know what Gunnar Henderson is not going to stop at first who needs a cycle when you can pick up your fourth extra base hit of the game the Orioles bench is saying you should have stopped at first, but Gunner has a double double with a triple and a home run, a four extra base hit game, and he makes it 11 to 1 with a sheepish grin on his face. A raucous ovation here for Mookie Betts. He said it could be nothing. It could be everything. Probably meant everything to hear that. Genki dish, Shohei Otani. Feeling just fine. A rocket into right. And here come the Halos in the third. That ball was crushed. Listen to this place. It sounds like Angel Stadium. No. They're cheering. Tiger fans sticking around to watch the big fella, Miguel Cabrera. Cabrera launches one. Deep left center field. Get out of here. Go! Well, it's a hanging breaking ball, and the big fellow sitting back on that baseball. And he absolutely crushes it to left field, left center field. Having a little conversation with Altuve, saying that's how you do it. One run, one home run closer to Melot. Oh, and he is hit by that pitch, and he is not happy. But Rosa Reina, not happy about that. And just the number of times gives the Rays uh, plenty to not be very happy about. It's been over and over and over again. Been all season long, and it's gone on for a few seasons. Yep. And here we go. The umpires losing control. And now both teams will come out. And I'll tell you, the Rays. The Rays have put up with this and, and they'd like to see some repercussions go the other way and that's why you have two teams out here right now. Randy's on his way to third and that throw is not going to be in time. He steals third. And I'm there with a full count on Ramirez and nobody out. And, and guess what? Here, and we, here we are back and forth. Uh oh, watch out. I'm telling yeah. you. The umpires asked for this. I'm going to tell you what. You got to put a stop to it. I saw Jose Siri coming out, and he had a blind side shot that he could have taken on Abreu. And instead, he went out there and just kind of put his arms around him and pulled him away. Yeah, I, that scared me because Siri had he was coming from the blind side of Brady never saw him. And there he goes. He got a big jump. Corbin Carroll has it. 40 stolen bases for the rookie. Well, had a great jump that time. He rocks back and forth from foot to foot, and when that weight is on the front foot, he's going to go. Got a great jump out there and easily steals that bag. Number 40 on the season. Altuve sends one to center field. This one all the way back to the wall. It's going to bounce off the base of the wall. Altuve will head to second, and he will get there with a leadoff double. Jose Altuve picks on the first pitch he sees in the third and gets into scoring position. Altuve hooks one past Devers in the left field. That'll be a leadoff hit for Altuve for the second time. He also let off the third with a base hit. 
First pitch, swung on, drill, deep to center field, all the way back near the wall. It is off the wall. Yadier Diaz is going to score. Jeremy Pena is going to score. Jose Altuve is going to get to third. Astros retake the lead. It is five to four. Altuve, a two RBI triple. And Altuve sends one high, sends one deep, sends one into the Boston night, 13 to four. Hit number four for Jose Altuve, and he hits for the cycle. There it is. Needed the big one. Got it. Jose Altuve homers for the cycle. Congrats to Tuve. A night after Jeremy Pena has a five-hit night, Altuve hits his first career cycle. Got him, and that's the ball game. Another night to remember. And it almost became a real night to remember. Well, he was spectacular, and he really had a, a rough month of August. And uh, tonight, I mean, from the very get-go, I mean, just a couple pitches into this ball game, and everything was crisp. And you knew he had a good feel. And that split-finger fastball was maybe as good as we've ever seen him have it. Orlando. Better make up for it. Is that the record breaker? It is. I right, see you later. Homer 250 this year for the Braves. A new single season franchise record. They didn't make us wait too long. Another mislocation. Middle, middle. He made an error before. He was going to make up for it. This certainly does that. Ronald Hammers is to left center. That ball is history. And Ronald Acuna Jr. just made history. He has Major League Baseball's first ever 30-60 season, and he does it in grand fashion. And Atlanta has a 5-1 to one lead. And oh, by the way, it's only August 31st. What a milestone for Acuna. Driven out to left field and deep. Going back, Alvarez turning, looking. Welcome to the big league. See ya. A home run for Dominguez in his first big league at bat. First swing, much less first at bat. Well, that's a wow moment. To right field, curling into the corner. That's a fair ball. Sheets will play it. Jones is going to wave Torkelson home. Here's the relay from Sosa up the line. An RBI double for Miguel Cabrera, passing George Brett. He stands 17 all by himself. You just have to laugh at how good he is. I mean, he swung the bat so good in last night's game in four at bats, and then comes up and just continues on right here. A deep drive to left field, high and deep to left. Another grand slam for Royce Lewis. Contact so well or has in his career and he lines one deep down the left field line. It's gone. It's off the Western Metal Supply Building. Just inside the pole he may have broken a window. It's a two run home run for Trey Turner. Not only that it's seven straight games for the Phillies with multi home runs which is a new franchise record. Fly ball deep left field. There it goes. See ya. His 400th career home run and it gives the Yankees a three to one lead. Milestone blast that looks like it traveled about a mile. Tell you what long line drive. That's what you see off Stanton's bat. His 22nd of the year gives the Yankees a two-run lead here. How smart is Volpe? He's just called his timeout because he wants the crowd to see on the scoreboard that his 400 career home run for Stanton. Doesn't seem as if they're asking for a curtain call. Maybe it'll increase. And here he comes. Dane Dunning, who is a starting pitcher. Out too big. On a 3-1 pitch, delivers high and deep. Altuve hits his third home run in his last five at-bats. Five for his last five with three home runs, and he starts the night off with a big swing for the Astros. Altuve sends one into left center field. This one well struck. Back goes Tavares. It's gone again. He's done it again. 
four home runs in five at bats? Are you kidding me, Tuve? This time he picks on a breaking ball, a 3-1 breaking ball. Then I have a feeling Jose was kind of look for, looking for it, and that's going to be it for Nathan Navaldi. That is 14th tonight. And now he sends one to center field. That'll send Tavares back. Could it be? Four in a row! Four in a row for Altuve! Five and six at bats! The legend continues to grow! Absolutely incredible. He batted in the ninth inning yesterday. He has hit a home run in the first, second, and third innings today. He has four home runs in the last four innings. Three balls, two strikes, two outs. Here he comes. And it's in there. A cold strike three. Backdoor cutter from Burns. Eight no-hit innings. Seven strikeouts. We are still scoreless. Watching greatness with the Milwaukee Brewers, the former Cy Young winner, Corbin Burns. Williams at 3-2. A swing and a miss. He struck him out. Got him with the fastball. Devin Williams strikes out Aaron Judge, puts up a zero in the ninth. Burns and Williams, nine no-hit innings. Stan and Judge still on the bags. Volpe in the air, right center field, hit well. And this is going to be caught! Oh my goodness! Sal Freelich makes an unbelievable catch! That's the catch of the year. No question. Joey Weaver paid the price. Uribe survives. Ten no-hit innings for the Brewer pitchers. Line down the right field. Second is Cabrera. He'll make it. Breaks up the no hitter. Breaks up the shutout. The Sunday game put some pressure on Milwaukee. High fly ball. Deep right center. Going back. Weimer. Track. Wall. See ya. A tie game. A two run home run by Stanton. And the Yankees will not go quietly. Well, Michael, get comfortable. We're not done. <laughs> Big G shoots one to dead center field. 3-2. Drill to left field and deep. Going back is Taylor. It's over his head. And the Yankees will win the game. Everson Pereira scores. It's a walk-off hit for Higashioka. And the wildest, strangest Sunday afternoon. The Yankees go from being no hit for 10 in the third innings to walking off with a victory. He's walked and singled today. High in the air. Right center failed. There goes the record setter. Number 52 for Matt Olson. Most home runs in a season in Braves history. And he did it with an exclamation point. 433 feet. What a swing. What a year. What a smile. Cano on the first pitch. It's way back. It's going to be a salami. A grand slam. Mark An electrifying moment on the first pitch. And it's 9 to 5, Brew Crew in the eighth. Well, I think we have our new signature moment of the season. My, oh my. Mullins into center field. This should do it. Margo going back. It does not matter. Adley Rutschman will score. And the Orioles, who clinched a postseason berth just a few minutes ago, seal their fate with a walk-off win. A clincher, a walk-off. Control of the American League East. Now that's not bad for a Sunday. Fly ball center. Wayno is through seven. Popped him up. Edmund is out. Adam Wainwright, welcome to the 200 win club.
huge lead. Yeah, he does. And he goes. Pitch is high. Throw down to second base. No chance. He's safe. So for Ruiz, that's number 60. 60 stolen bases for Ruiz. Wow. Got a great jump. Well, yeah, he had a, I mean, he was two thirds of the way there before the pitch was thrown, just with his lead. Bruce Star Gratterall, his 177th game in the majors, and Kirsten, it's probably gonna be the most special one yet. Yeah, really special. Maybe a little bit extra nerves, but really good nerves, because today, Bruce Star Gratterall's mother is here. You guys can see her on the screen. And this is her first time seeing her son pitch as a professional baseball player. She's up in the suite watching. What a moment for her. She was emotional just as he was running into the game. One that he and his mom Really earned together. Soft bouncing ball, left side. Muncy's there. All these years later, Mom finally getting to watch him live his dream in person. What a moment. And tears shed by both. Dave Roberts knew everything that it meant to him. And Dave said, look up there and find her. Happy emotions. His mom is Smalia watching him pitch in the major leagues for the first time. There goes Corbin. The throw from Bailey is into center field, and that's 50 for Corbin Carroll, who's in at third standing up. 50 for the rookie. And Corbin Carroll might have it right here. Corbin Carroll, goodbye! Well, that's some history right there. Corbin Carroll joins Mike Trout as the only rookies in Major League history with at least 25 home runs and 40 stolen bases. Hammered, left field, gone! Ronald Acuna, another milestone in a truly historic season. 40 home runs. <laughs> Ronald goes. There it is. He did it. A 40 70 
season, and a season unlike any other in Major League Baseball history for Ronald Acuna Jr. Take the base and take a bow, number 13. Numbers that we never knew if we would see in the game of baseball, but in 2023, Ronald Acuna has done it. Got him on three pitches. Ran the splitter in on him. Julio strikes out. Neris strikes out the side, and he strands Crawford. Watch out now. Here comes Neris talking to Julio, and everybody's emptied out. Bullpen start to empty. This is one of a number of times something like this has happened. Now Eugenio Suarez having some pretty firm words. Manny Acta trying to move him back. Both sides finding some distance now. Watch Naris here. He goes right after him like this. That's what it's about. Wow. Yeah, that is that is uncalled for. They get away with a lot of stuff in this game, but that right there is uncalled for. When have you ever seen something like that? Well, that's the emotion of the moment, just taking over a guy too much. Down the right field line. Hooking, but it's fair. A two-run homer just inside the pole for Matt Olson. And he has another piece of the Braves history, folks. On September 16th, he broke the franchise's single-season home run record. And now on September 28th, he overtakes the top spot for runs batted in. Game on the line right here. Season pretty much on the line. Slicing drive, Carter back. He can't get it, and the Mariners win the game. J.P. Crawford comes up huge, and the Mariners' season continues. Pure joy here at T-Mobile Park. There it is, number 277 for number 99, Spencer Strider. The most strikeouts in a single season in Atlanta Braves history. John Smoltz's previous record of 276 from 1996 is no more. He's going. I just don't know if he's going first pitch. He's gone. He's safe. And another record-breaking feat to Ronald Acuna's 2023 resume. 73 stolen bases, the most in Braves history. Unbelievable. You know he's running, and you still can't throw him out. The jump, incredible. Slide smooth as silk. Brandon Crawford's going to lead the Giants out of the dugout as they will wait for him to take his spot on the infield before anybody else comes out. And this crowd is standing. We got Dodger players applauding. It's a great moment here at Oracle Park. Well, and he's waving his teammates on. Say, don't leave me out here hanging. And they take the field. And today it's his field. And it's been his field really since he's. First put on the Giants uniform. We saw him step on the field in Milwaukee 13 years ago. What a giant he's been. He goes. Pitch low and away. The throw to third base, and it's not in time. He has the record. 67 stolen bases for Esteori Ruiz. The new American League rookie record. Stolen base number 67, Esteori Ruiz. He is the new American League single season rookie leader in that category. 24, our father, father. Miguel Cabrera. First and second, nobody out for the big guy. Well, you got to go from the emotions of the pregame ceremony then to your children introducing you. Swung on a miss, one away. Number 24 has grabbed a glove and he's heading out to first base. 
by himself. Miguel Cabrera standing at first, asking his teammates, come on, join me out here for a minute. But instead, this crowd on their feet, saluting Miguel Cabrera one final time. And he is staying in, left-handed batter at the plate. Will Vest on the mound, the strike one, swinging a ground ball to first. Backhanded by Cabrera, crosses the bag with his left foot. One out in the eighth, of course. The ball will always find you. And Miguel Cabrera gets the first ground ball, the first ball put in play to make the out at first. And that's it. Isabella, Brissell, Christopher, his three children pop out of the Tigers dugout with manager A.J. Hinch. That couldn't have worked out any better. He always had so much fun at first base. Entire team comes out of the dugout. Everybody getting one last hug. Team lining up on the field from the pitcher's mound over toward that third base coach's box in the line. Final hug for his wife. Now he walks out, raises his arms, touches his heart with his hat. And now the final walk down those dugout steps, wiping tears from his eyes. He can get the biggest lead he could possibly go. There he goes. Pitches a strike. It is not in time. Rip the bag out. Rip the bag out. Number 47, a new Nationals record for C.J. Abrams. Take the bag out, C.J. I am the greatest. He is in scoring position now. What a beautiful thing to watch. Oh, I just love it that speed is so much a part of baseball again. And LeMayu takes inside for a leadoff walk. Donald Zach Greinke. He hated that the kids were calling him Donnie in kindergarten. So he decided on Zach. And that's the only name we've known him by. And what a joy it has been the last two years in his return to Kansas City. for a souvenir. A foul ball off the bat of Adam Wainwright in his last big league game, and he stays alive 0-2. A swing and a miss. Royce Lewis, who got a great hand as he came to the plate, does not go. And now when he's drilled deep to left field, going back for a show, turning, looking, see ya! A two-run home run for Lewis. And just like that, the Twins are up 2-0. And the magical run continues. Fastball, mid-90s, beats him to the spot. Alligator arms, nice and tight. Lewis electrified the crowd with a two-run home run in the first inning off of Gosman. High fly ball, right field and deep. Springer back, turning, looking. See ya! He's done it again! Back-to-back home runs for Lewis, and it's 3-0 Twins. The number one pick for a reason. 
This time a fastball stays inside of it. And he told us today, I had a great night of sleep. I woke up and I came ready to play. There he goes. And there's a ground ball. Diving stop by Solano. And he flips to Duran. They win. 18 is enough. The Twins get a postseason win. And they lead the wild court series one game to nothing. And Michael, to think a 5-8 First baseman with the dive. He needed every inch to make that play and then the toss. And that'll bring up Bryson Stott. They get the bases loaded. One out. Infielders in at the corners. And Stott drives one to right. That's deep. That is gone. A grand slam for Stott. The brink just broke thanks to Bryson Stott's base clearing granny. The kid that last year struggled to hit the fastball sees the first 95 mile per hour pitch and gets the Philly fan base seven run lead. That is a great play by Turner. Flips to the bag. Throw to first. A double play. Oh my goodness. Wow. Trey Turner, a spectacular play in short. It would be one thing just to get it out there, but the Phillies turn it up and get out of the inning. What a play. I mean, you're talking the play of the game right here. That ball goes in. You're talking first and second, second and third instead. No runs. That distinctive stretch style of Kershaw. Ball hit through the middle. Marte around third. He's going to score. And the Diamondbacks, who had to come from behind in both games in Milwaukee, jump in front here at Dodger Stadium. Pitch of this inning is driven to deep left. Back, way back, and off the wall. One run is home as Carroll sprints for the plate, and they'll have second and third with a 2 0 lead, and Kershaw is yet to retire a hitter. Well, it's the first curveball we've seen against the base of the wall. High fly ball to deep left field. Forget about it. It's gone. A disastrous start for Clayton Kershaw. Moreno hit only seven during the regular season, put a major charge into that one. 5-0 D-backs, and every D-back who has faced Kershaw has delivered a hit, and they've all been hit hard. And Longoria slams one toward the gap in left center field, and Outman dives but can't get it. It will go to the wall. Thomas on his way to third and being waved home. It's a double for Longoria. The peg to the plate is late, and it's 6-0 Diamondbacks. For Seamer, supposed to be away and down. It's up and middle to 38-year-old Evan Longoria. Roberts comes to get Kershaw. He's had a rough time before in the postseason. This has to be the worst of all those outings. And Jacob Webb, who gave up a home run to Josh Young yesterday, comes in with the bases loaded to face Mitch Garver. That ball is hit in the air to deep left field. Hayes going back at the wall. It's gone. It's a grand slam. Mitch Garver breaks it open for the Rangers, who have nine runs over the first three innings. The new wall couldn't stop this one. And up in the zone and... Up and away. Here he comes. Riley in the air to left field. On the run, Mars. There it goes. Austin Riley has given the Braves the lead in the eighth. As clutch as it gets, Austin Riley puts Atlanta up 5-4. He deals a 2-2. Castellanos in the air to right center field. Harris is on the run. Harris at the track. He leaps and he makes the catch. Harper might be doubled up. The throw gets away. The throw to first. It's over. It's over. Harper never tagged. He couldn't get back. And it's a double up to end game two. Wow. What a catch by Michael Harris the second and the wheels were in motion he shocked Harper that he caught that ball it was Austin Riley who was backing up the throw that initially got away Frenchy and the man who hit the homer to give the Braves the lead gets the final out first and third now with two outs and Harper coming up and there's a high fly ball deep right field Harper watches it fly well, he's done it so many times in his career in the postseason and against this Atlanta Braves squad. And it's a pitch, another pitch up in the zone, a 2-1 slider. If you notice, but in that, that home run trot, look at the stare down of Orlando Arcia. So Arcia not paying attention, but yep, 
That was Arcia's quote. Atta boy Harper after Harper got doubled up to end game two. Harper, high fly ball, center field. He's watching. Harris turns. Harris leaps, and it's gone. Harper with a rainmaker and another stare down. Seven to one Phillies. A second stare down from Bryce Harper. If looks could kill. And it's turning into the Bryce Harper game. Geraldo Perdomo starts it in the bottom of the third. And here's Perdomo. Look at this. Hayward back at the fence. Can't get it. Gone. He hit only six during the regular season. And he wasn't hitting at all in this postseason. But one swing changed all that. Ten and home runs now for these Diamondbacks. To Del Marte, if it's fair, and it is, and this ball is way gone. Well, this is what you know about Lance Lynn. He gives up homers. You know, Marte in his first at bat, a long drive to left center field at State in the ballpark. He is so strong. Two out, but two in on a pair of solo homers. And here's Christian Walker. And here's another shot to deep left. Down the line and gone! Three solo homers in the inning. Well, for the first time in this series, the Dodgers did not get hurt in the first, but they're getting punished in the third. Christian Walker had been 0 for 6 with four punch outs against Lynn until that moment. And here's Moreno. There you go, baby. Right field, Hayward toward the line, near the foul pole. Fair ball, home run. Now Hayward may be saying, a replay's worth a look. Might be worth a challenge. In the bullpen, they're saying it was foul. The right field umpire, Gabe Morales, said fair. Danny Lehman is the bench coach, talking to Dave Roberts. The umpires will get together here any time on a home run that they're not sure of the call. He waved it off, said it's not a home run, but now Tori Lovello has asked the, the for the umpires to a take a look. The foul ball is under a crew chief review. Hard to believe that Morales didn't have a better view of it than anybody else. Looks foul to me, because you never lost a view of the ball. A lot of times you'll see that ball, it's inside the line, you'll lose a view of it. Hard to see there, but the first look, the ball seemed foul. Nicole on the field is confirmed, foul ball, 2-2 two -two count. Has the home run erased, oh. and then hits the next pitch to the moon. There's your fourth home run. I've never seen anything like this. Nor have I. You know how rare it is for a hitter to hit a ball that's a home run foul, and then on the next pitch hit it fair for a home run. On this 2-0, he goes after it. Hits it in the air to center. Tavares is back. He's at the wall. He leaps. This is why the walls should be this height. I love watching this play as a former pitcher. There's nothing better. Taking a run off the board. What a timed up perfect. I'm sorry, that's one of the most exciting plays in baseball. And he pulls that one. It's past Bohm. Down into the corner it goes. Thomas is flying around third. The throw is cut off. And this game is tied. Lourdes Gurriel. An RBI double in the seventh inning. Well, he gets that slider. This one backed up on Kirkering. And guys, the first ball we've seen all series get by Alec Bohm. He has made every single play. And that one snuck through. Kimbrell deals an 0-1. That's into center field. It's down. In the score is Smith. And the Diamondbacks walk off the Phillies in game three. Cattell Marte takes a victory lap. Cattell Marte puts his name in the books for the Diamondbacks. Their third postseason walk-off. Luis Gonzalez, Tony Womack, and Cattell Marte. First and third, one out. Adolis Garcia runs about the air, deep left center field. McCormick to the track. Ball down is the pitch that a hitter can get to with a big swing. It's supposed to be up, and it's inner third. He could get his hands down to that ball, and he was short to it. This crowd, for the first time, has felt like they have a chance to win a game at home. And here comes the man of the day to this point, Adonis Garcia. The first pitch here, and gets right in Maldonado's ear. The benches are clearing in the American League 
championship series. Everybody doing their very best to keep their cool, but Garcia's losing his. Now you can understand why he's so hot. That's a 97 mile an hour fastball up near the shoulder. I know he's pleading this case that it wasn't on purpose. All signs point to it being on purpose. The 0 1. High fly ball to deep left field. Back to the wall. This team just refuses to roll over. And of course, it's Jose Altuve, the face of the franchise, the face of this run, that takes a 4-2 ninth inning deficit in this all-important game five and turns it around with a three-run home run. Nine pitches, six of those breaking balls. And he deals a fastball. He missed a bases-loaded walk. The merry-go-round is on. It's a two-run game now. Walker. He deals. Thomas in the air to right field. That's back. Castellanos on the run. And we are tied. Alec Thomas takes the ride of his life. Fastball right over the middle. Running away just a little. 4-12, 104 off the bat. And I'm guessing Tori Lavallo might have just told him, hit me a home run. <laughs> he packed some punch. He and Carroll slightly built. But they can really send it. In the air, left center. That's going to get down. Coming in to score, Marte. The Diamondbacks have the lead. Gabby Moreno puts them in front, six to five. This is only one gone in the ninth. Stanix one one. He is thrilled on a line. Left field and gone. Adolis Garcia makes his statement. And the Rangers have their sights set on game seven. Well, it we're on the train tracks, but it was special. Third straight game with a home run for Adolis Garcia. The Rangers have broken it open. They lead 9-2. Barring a Houston miracle, this series is going seven. Garcia starts the third and drives one the other way. Down the line of its fair. He's got another. He does. Adolis Garcia owning October. Playing the villain role. To perfection, and it's 4 to 1 Texas. This might be one of the best at bats of his career. Quite impressive. Tom, take it away. Here's the fly ball. Hold on one second. Back goes Brantley to the wall, and Adolis Garcia has hit another home run. Impossible. His fifth in the last four games. He owns Houston. John, get your MVP ballot ready. Already penciled in. Well, you can use marker. Grounded a second. Two years removed from losing 100. The Rangers have won the pennant. And they will play in the World Series for the first time since 2011. Their first real chance to make a new World Series memory after the heartbreak of that 2011 season and plenty of heartbreak along this path that they've been able to overcome, that they've responded to. And they are the champions of the American League toppling the Houston Astros. Hitters count. Harper, a high fly ball to center field. Thomas settles under it. And Kevin Ginkle delivers two big outs for the Diamondbacks. The Philly strand two. No and he strikes out Bohm, who snaps his bat in frustration. 2-2 two -two to Bryson Stott. Yes. And he goes. A strikeout for Ginkle. And yes. did he go? He did. It is a strikeout. Ginkle strikes out the side in the eighth. Wow. Let it out, big fella. Strike away. Here he comes. Cave, a fly ball to right field over his Carroll. He's got it. And the Arizona Diamondbacks are headed to the World Series. The Diamondbacks have won the National League pennant. And the Fall Classic will return to the desert for the first time in 22 years. The comeback Diamondbacks, the answer backs. Two comeback wins in games three and four. And down in this series, they come back win four of the last five. Could tie it with one swing. Dolly 
Luis Garcia sends on the other way. That sends Carroll back. He's at the wall, and the legend grows. Adolis Garcia wins game one. to the day that game six became synonymous with heartbreak. Game one becomes synonymous with Adolis Garcia. The Rangers tie it in the ninth on a Seager home run. They win it in the 11th. And of course, it was Adolis. One swing and they're dancing around, but it was all about that hit by pitch the time before. You wondered if that was going to have anything to do with his swinging the bat. It wasn't. And he went to right field. That's how strong he is. He took a low sinking pitch and hit it like a left handed pull hitter. And what a moment. And what a comeback win. Another 2 2 is perfect to the outside corner. And the eighth strikeout from Merrill Kelly. And he got him looking, and Heim knew it. Nine strikeouts on the night for Merrill Kelly, who's got another 1 2 3 inning. Well, another day, another hit for Cattell Marte, whose hitting streak is now 20 in the postseason. The best ever.